Hello and welcome back to the next episode of Fountain Mountain. We're in episode 4 now. Last episode we uh, closed off uh, this area with the levees and we have the water level a little bit risen over here. Um, we also make a, made a staircase almost all the way up to here for our industry area and we started to mirror some of the plantation on this side. Um, today we will be continuing with planting levees on top of these where we can and we will start making our warehousing district uh, over here and um, we'll uh, have to remove those trees over down here so we can do the same on that side when we get to it so let's um, plan this out we need about um, 11 spots of uh, room here so this is four five six seven eight nine so we're gonna go um, I'm thinking like uh, this this is 11 why do we need 11 you ask because we're gonna use the large warehouses and um, we need one space in between them on the bottom to be able to stack them together you will see in a minute what I mean so we go back five we're gonna place this and that means we also need some over there that is one too many and then triple platforms over here this is gonna be our platforming situation for our um, warehousing setup so storage we're gonna do this this and this that is three of them then we're gonna have some platforms in between we might make a path under here so that we can build stuff behind this as well and we're gonna go up one more and we're gonna place this this and this and now we have a nice little thing for our um, storage facility so we need to be able to reach everywhere we're gonna do that um, like so um, yeah that was all right we need this and then we need this and this and we're gonna have some staircases connecting all of those together making path connections everywhere there there and there and this should be okay for now what I do want to do is um, make it a little bit nicer right from the get-go we're gonna unlock some of the things that we need for it I'm thinking we're gonna use this one to place it like so and like that and that and then we're gonna use this one for right here and we'll make something on this side as well I'm not entirely sure how we're gonna do the design on the sides but I think this will look nice and we'll place something on top here as well maybe one of those beaver statues at some point but we'll we'll get there when we get there um, we'll also add some medical beds under here so because we have the room over there and uh, we might as well use that and to completely finish it off we'll unlock some shrubs and some benches and we can place those as well um, like I said we might we might do a road under those so let's already make that so that we don't forget and we accidentally place something that we don't want under there um, right so we'll we'll make this area a, uh, a, a good to use area by adding some um, shrubs here and here and maybe some benches right here and here and they can look over our forest from there so that is gonna be our situation with the warehousing so for now I'm gonna set all of them to none until we know what we want to do exactly with each and every entry of them so each district will have these are uh, these are six warehouses and we'll have six here and six here and then um, 
we'll figure out what we put in each of those. Um, right. We're working on that. We need a lot of logs for that. And since all these trees are not grown yet, and these ones slowly are growing, um, we we need some some trees harvested. And we also need to get rid of all of this down here. We cannot make a staircase. Oh, we can make a staircase similar to the one on the side. So let's do that. We'll make a stairs there and there. We'll even make the path go this way. And then we'll, um, we'll mark all of this over here to be removed. And then we can set up a similar thing over here. However... Um, we need to go this way, I think, to start harvesting some of these trees. And we'll do that right now. We have a path already. We can actually... We all, oh, we already have these guys working here. So that is great. We already set that up. So we don't have to worry about that. We'll, we'll cut all of that down. And uh, we'll use those trees to get our log situation and build all these platforms and they are doing their very best with that i'm gonna up the priority of this little staircase so that we can get up here and we can start making a path here and we can start planning out our industrial area on top which is going to be great um so last episode i was wondering whether to um, mirror it completely so I'm thinking we're gonna do that I'm thinking we're gonna have forest double forest on on all sides and then have um, this part these parts over here and here be uh, before um, uh, not only for berries and and for um, dandelions but also for um, for our harvesting area so um, these little corners we said are going to be housing corners and we'll have the um, waterfall right behind the houses and that is what we're gonna be also working on so that we can move these houses and um, we can clean this up and make this farmland where we want the farmland so let's let's figure out how this is gonna be we already did the configuration of the road over here however we need to get the exact match with this path over on this side which is um two out of there instead of the one that we have now so this path is not going to be here it's going to be one over and it's going to be um having a staircase go up so we know that we're going to have a platform right there. We're going to have a staircase. And we're going to have the path right this way. And um, that is continuing on a little bit. And this path is not going to be here at all. So we're just cleaning this side up now. So that we can start mirroring this over here. And we'll have to figure out how we're going to keep our food production correct for all our beavers we do have food we, we we have enough right now um but we yeah we'll probably have to reconfigure this and maybe have the berries in a different setup um maybe we want to have a corner like this uh completely reserved for farming like this this corner because that is what it's going to be and then have this area uh, for berries and, and stuff like that. And then have the district center right here. That is what I'm thinking right now. So, um, yeah, this, this one can go. We don't need that. We are also going to delete all of this path. We don't want that right now. We're going to make sure that we mark all of that to be removed. And this as well. And we'll see what they can actually reach right now and whatnot. Um, so. 
I'm thinking, yeah, this is going to be the berry area for our little beaver kits. And um, this is the district center. So how are we going to do that? Um, that's the question. That's a good question. I'm thinking maybe we go like this. And have that be the district center right there. Is that a cool plan? I think it is. Um, I'm also kind of wondering if that is maybe not what we want to do. But maybe we want to actually have the path that goes over here. Um, this will be the connecting path. And maybe we want to do it like this instead. And have these paths cross here. And have the district center like here. Um, instead. And then we have more of an area for food. And then this will be the area for, um, for our berries. And we can then maybe add this area for our... Um, dandelions and some of these pines I'm thinking that will be a good way to go so instead we're gonna do this and um, we'll have our farms around here somewhere I'm not entirely sure if we're gonna keep the path like this connected or not um, I'm just deleting these I can do this way more efficiently, but I was busy anyways, and um, we could set our farms like this and this, and then have, um, or we can, we can go down one more and have them in these corners, but I don't know if two farms is enough. I think we want to make, we want to make four farms if we're going to do that like that. But I think this is going to be how I want to want to have the district center. This is the way, the position I want it. And um, on the other hand, um, yeah, that, no, that's probably good because then they can reach easier up, up, up the stairs. Okay, they have removed some of this. Except for this one. Oh, it already got replanted, I think. Uh, we're gonna remove all on this side for the moment and then we're gonna cut the rest we're gonna cut all these trees you know what we're gonna just say from this corner nope that doesn't work from this corner all the way to this corner almost and from this corner all the way to here and then this little corner we're also gonna set everything needs to be cut we're gonna place a couple of um, a, a couple of uh, woodcutters here, lumberjack flags. And then we'll uh, we'll get rid of all of that. Look at this. They they're working on this. They're doing their best. Cutting down trees. We are making some planks. So yeah, let's let's figure out this exact um, setup. If we're gonna, we can make the path one more out, like so, and then we have more room for um, our farms. But then we have less room for our actual plantable area. Because what else do we do we need around the district uh, center? Um, we could place our uh, a drop of points. Let's unlock one, and our distribution center. We could place that around here. But do we want that around there? I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. I'm just uh, thinking out loud on how to, how I want to do this. Um, uh, 
we can also set them up like... Uh, let's pause it for a second. If we set them up like this and this and then have two more around. But then what do we do with the rest of the area around it? We can remove the whole path because we don't really need it. Um, what we could do is bring it back like we had. Maybe I, I think I like that set up the best. Like so. I, I don't know if two farms is, is, is enough. That is probably not enough for the whole district. So what if we do this? And we have the farms like so and so. And we add an additional farm like this. Um, wait. This one is facing that way, then that one should face that way as well. And we face them like so. And we connect this up. And then we can place a tapper shack here to get those uh, pine. Because the pine... Is that collected? Yeah, that's gathered by a tapper shack. So... We could do a tapper shack. Uh, unlock is 500. Okay, wow. Um, and that can reach everywhere as well. So I'm thinking something like this. And then over here we have place for some breeding pots. And over here maybe a shrub or a medical bed and stuff like that. But that is going to be the town center basically around the, around the um, district center. And um, I'm thinking this could work, right? So let's start building that. For now, I'm going to place a um, campfire here because that is then we know how we're going to place our district center. And what did we say? We wanted to plant berries over here. And then have some dandelions and some pine over on this area. So the pine is going to go this way. And we'll have a similar thing over here. Pine over here. And blueberries go this way. There we go. And we need... We can have a... Yes, we have a gatherer flag right here and here. We pause those, we pause those, and we'll put a breeding pot right here and here, and we pause those as well. Just so we know how we want to lay out this thing, and then we add the um, dandelions. So dandelions here, dandelions there. Very good. I think that is going to be it. And then we'll do the design of the actual farm fields. Uh, we'll have potato, potatoes, and wheat or something um, right there. We'll have our housing in these corners, these corners. We'll have our storage over here. And grills and whatnot we need to figure out where we're going to place those we have room here maybe or behind this we can figure out and then here we have our industry area okay let's unpause uh, that is a gatherer flag we don't really need that up here we just want a couple of these ones there we go that should do Give that priority. Lovely. Yeah, so this is going to be the... This, well, we're basically doing both sides now. We have a design here that we're going to have to... Um, that we're going to have to mirror over here. We also need water storage, which should be on the storage area. Um, I didn't really think that through. Um... 
if... No, we can't really... But we can make the platforms go out here a little bit more and then have it on top here and have a big one on top here as well for water storage. That will, that will look nice. And then we automatically have figured out what we're going to do on the side here. So what we're going to do is add more platforms like so. And we'll add platforms like so. Over here, we'll do something similar. We'll add a platform, a platform, and then some triples. And then add this. Now, it isn't going to be completely mirrored there. Because um, the large water tanks will have um, their um, entrance on a different side. However, we can make it similar and we'll do that. We'll add a staircase, go up here and here and connect that up like so. But since we need to go that way, we'll do that as well on both sides and we'll uh, connect it like so and then at least they're mirrored we'll have this little area over here and we have the path going under so we are going to connect that up and we'll do the same over on this side there we go and now I think on this and this side we want to do the little shrines because that will look nice I think um, yeah. Did we ever add a g teeth grindstone or not? Oh yeah, we did. Over here and over here. Okay, so that is all good. That is all good. So, shrines over here and here. And now this storage area is also where our water is stored. I like it. I like it. Um, we also need to start adding some showers, I think. Double showers. There are 50 to unlock. Let's unlock them. Um, I kind of would have liked those to hang from the side over here maybe uh we'll see we'll see where we where we're gonna place those it's uh it's not a big deal right now we can all we can place some right here for the moment that will that will work um we have a path connection for now because this is going to be this is going to be more water collection at some point but we'll move those to somewhere here i think as well look at this they're cleaning out this forest pretty quickly and that means they're putting logs and planks into the warehouses and then we can clean up the rest the berries we don't really want over here so clean those up before they spread because we don't want them to spread there we go maybe not that one okay so remove all of that and work on all of that look at this um we have a lot of farmings farms over here we're gonna pause them for the moment um, wow, this dude has been busy. He has basically planted most of what we wanted, except for this little corner. Um, that is amazing. Do we, we could make the next one. So, nope, Forester, right over here. That's the mirror of this one. And, uh, 
that one should be able to reach for all of this but unfortunately i don't think we can delete the rest of these because that is out of range yeah that is basically out of range so we're, we're going to do that once we put a district center over here. We have a, a three-day drought. That is not too bad. We'll be all right. They have been putting down quite a bit of logs already in those uh, large warehouses. So we're doing our best. And we have, we have three unemployed beavers I am thinking of making another plank factory because we we're using a lot of planks so we do another plank right over here and we give it some power that should be okay and we're gonna give that priority because we need to keep making planks Um, right, we should also consider going over this side so that we can uh, chop down those trees of, as well. I mean, they can reach pretty far. We can move one over there. We can pause this. Uh, give this a bit of priority and uh, that, will, that, will, that will do good. So yeah, that will be the finished part. So this all needs to go at some point because that is no longer how we're going to do it. So fields over here. So this this can reach everywhere. Now, if we do potatoes, right? Then uh, one or two rows of carrots. And then... Um, wheat I think uh, that should be alright because yeah I think uh, let's look at the um, overheated beavers we need to have those showers up and running definitely so sunflower seeds give uh, give working speed plus 5 and carrots give life expectancy. I think I want the life expectancy more than I want the... But we could do both, maybe. Um, let's see. If we plant the crops... If we place those there. And basically that is another row over this way. Yep. Like so. Then... Um, can we reach that? Yeah, we can. If we make a little path over here. And then we can actually start place planting down levees as well. There we go. Let's do those. Um, yeah. They can plant. And then this will become wheat. And then uh, we'll have a little corner of sunflower over there. And the rest is potato. And then this is wheat. And then this becomes housing. So we need to make sure that they actually can get over from there to wherever they need to be. We could make a draw uh, a suspension, suspension bridge over this area to this. So that we only need... Well, we'll figure it out. I'm sure we can make that work. We're we're going to we're going to plant some of these platforms that we need. First of all, this is all the way down, so that needs single platforms and then these ones need doubles and then the rest need triple platforms and we're gonna leave this open 
because this waterfall is going to go behind our houses. Um, maybe not all the way. Uh, maybe not all the way. Maybe this side not. Maybe we close this off and let it go only on this area. So that we have a straight line here. I think we might want to do that. So that is going to be that. And we have to close this off over here. Um, just going to place some levees over those areas. They should be able to finish those pretty quickly. And yeah, this will be the housing area. Okay, they're doing their best on these levees, so that is nice. And then we'll plant the wheat as well. Okay, this is all lovely looking. We don't need that many, but... I'm gonna just pause these, and these ones are probably... Oh no, they, these have plenty to do still. Okay, maybe we don't need to enable all of them. There we go. Just one is enough for now. Did we mark this to be... Yeah. We did mark everything to be removed. Okay. Looking good. Once this is done, we're... Uh, we might... Uh, we might unpause some of this. Uh, but for now, it's probably okay. We're gonna... Gonna let them build those, at least. There we go. And then pause it. Then pause it. At least it's built already. Yeah, and builders huts and that kind of thing. Maybe we place that behind the warehouses. We could do. We could do. Um, unfortunately, we do not really have a connection to remove all those trees easily but we'll figure it out so we have three of those warehouses already built um, we're not storing anything in them I think uh, the middle one we're gonna set up for uh, grilled potatoes I think that is okay we want grilled potatoes in the middle one and then um, yeah, that is that's is, that is good enough. For now, that is what we want to store. Do we want to store anything else? Are we making medicine? No, we're not. And that's totally fine. We do need a connection to this island. So, let's think about this. This is going to be... Uh, eventually, it's going to be a mine, right? Um, however... We're, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking we're going this way. We're gonna go this way to get to the, to the mine, and then we'll have a path go around the whole thing. There we go, and we can connect it wherever we want. We'll probably make platforms over the river, everywhere, anyways, to have our industrial area. Make sure. Get rid of all of that. Okay, the levees here are built. We're going to remove this path. And we're going to say we plant some of our weed over here. Okay. That will be good. And we'll, uh, we'll, have, more, we'll have more forest over here. And, uh, and we'll, uh, we're now waiting for more planks, planks, always planks. We're also kind of needing gears for these ones at some point, but we'll, we'll do that when we, uh, when we actually have everything else built over here. So... 
log wise it's all going very well we have we have so many logs so levies should be able to be built very very quickly um we know that we're gonna add that on top of there anyways so we might as well do that um once we get up here we know we want to remove these trees and these ones so uh we probably can't reach that one we're probably going to explode that anyways and once we get here we'll add a scavenger flag we have already unlocked that so let's place that over here might even do well, we do one. Uh, we're probably going to have a little bit of storage up here as well. But that is going to be small storage facilities for, for just for our um, simple things like scrap metal and, and finished products. Just so that we have them up there and we'll have hauling posts up here as well. And yeah, this is going to be this is going to be living quarters. But we want to blow that up and that one up. So we need some dynamite. What is stored in here? Absolutely nothing. Okay, so I'm going to delete that. Because we no longer need that. We're going to slowly clean this area up. And make it similar to this one. And how are we going to do that? Well, we probably want to unpause. We probably want to pause these ones. Or at least one of them. And this one is set to uh, harvesting. So I'm going to set this one to harvesting. And I'm going to delete this one. Um, that is going to be deleted. And we're going to unpause these two. And um, they're both set to planting. For now, that is perfectly fine. They're going to come in here. They're going to be planting and... I think we're going to prioritize. One of them is going to be prioritizing potatoes. And the rest is whatevs. Whatevs. So we have this one done as well. That is nice. They're really doing their best on finishing that. And they're working on this one. It only needs 16 more planks. And then it is done. And then before they can get building on this, they need to make some scaffolding over here anyways. So. Um, we have a nice little forest over here grown now. Um, these guys... Yeah, they are... We, we can pause two of those, right? I think so. And maybe we should mark the whole area to be cut. So that they can get rid of that as well. Um, eventually we want to get in here. Up here. Um, bridge over. And what we could do is. Uh, we don't have them unlocked. But the pl platforms. We could try and make some platforms on top of here. And uh, add a tribute to ingenuity. As the centerpiece of the whole map. But that is a ways away. Look at how fast they had this all planted lovely so all of this uh these dandelions grow really quick so there are eight days these need 12 days before they are complete um yeah they're growing this we're still waiting for planks everything is basically waiting for planks i am going to um get this built as quickly as possible because we want to for them to have some showers that they can you know they're already using him look at them lovely okay and they're working on the final one and it's just basically planks as soon as we have all the planks delivered there it's pretty much not a big deal anymore our food is low though so there is a thing. Our food is very low. How are the carrots doing? They're 40% grown. These ones are 34% grown. 
Uh, we are harvesting. We have our grill. It's busy, but it's not very busy. But we are making food. So that is good. These potatoes are already 36% grown. I think I'm gonna plant them here as well. We're gonna make sure we know until where we're gonna go. That is this is gonna be this is gonna be the the back of it. And then it's just gonna be um this is gonna be to there. And we'll just have this and this and that corner and rotate that corner. So this is going to be it. So we know that this path is going to go all the way to here and then we'll have a stairs going up. Well, they can figure out. And now we know also what we want to plant, which is crops. And we have some sunflower seeds that go in this corner. And then we'll have potatoes all the way here. Okay. And they cannot reach everything. These guys can, but um, yeah. Maybe we should enable this one instead of that one. Nah, we'll, we'll leave it like this. They will eventually be able to get there. Okay, they're 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 harvesting. These are growing. They're fifty eight percent. We should be all right. We should be all right. Um, we have eighteen homeless beavers, which is okay. We're gonna we're gonna get that going soon enough but we somehow need to figure out a road over to this side i'm going to get rid of um these ones uh i'm gonna cut them i'm gonna go cut those as well because we don't want those anymore and we're gonna not plant them again so as soon as they're gone, they're gone. What do we need? Kind of. Mm -hmm. I think we need to remove this. So the path is going up here. Um, this is a gatherer flag. We want to pause it and prioritize. We want that emptied out. And that gatherer flag needs to go here or so for the moment. And I think what, what we want to do is move this staircase back one. So that we can and then remove whatever is in this area. And I think we need to do the same over here. And have that be the path connection to our living quarters I think that will be okay and now that I think about it maybe at some point we'll delete this staircase once we have the one on this side ready um, and we can place a bigger bar the large barracks under here or something that could work. Yeah, we'll 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 see how how we feel about that. So they chopped down some of these trees. I'm gonna delete this. We don't care for the dandelions right now. Um, I am going to remove these and give this new setup a little bit of priority. We're going to go like this. We're going to go up, up, and connect. And we're going to give this the priority. 
And then we're going to go this way as well with the platforms. And connect that up right over there. Okay, this is looking pretty, pretty decent, right? Like a nice little um, starting position. Um, I don't know what we're going to put between those. Are we going to put anything between those? Or are we going to just leave it as it is? Because um, I kind of feel like we can... Maybe we add these... Um, control towers here and here so that we can have uh, but how far is that range let me let me unlock that yeah that's not far enough because then we also need well we need we could place one there yeah we can do that we can do these two over here and here at some point we don't need them right now And then this little corner and this little corner will just add more breeding pots. Because um, currently we have four breeding pots, or how many do we have? Yeah, four. Um, so, give this priority, please. Thank you. And the removal of these as well. Looking good, huh? This is this is looking good. I like it. Okay, so they have removed those. We can easily now make the connection. And then we know that the path is going to go at least this way. Why is there still a path under here? Do we want to keep that? Is that going to be the path? Nah, I don't think so. I'm going to delete the path under here. There we go. Path is deleted. And we're going to go this way. Um, not entirely sure yet where we're going to place what buildings. We need dynamite anyways before we... Continue on. Uh, right. Can they not reach that one? Nope, they cannot. Well, they could probably if we place this over here. Probably if we place this over here. There we go. This one can pause, and these ones are empty. Yep, so we'll delete those. There we go. Okay. Okay, we, we are harvesting. We are doing stuff. We could harvest these sunflowers as well, but yeah, they have the priority set to potatoes. Okay, I think um, we're going to mark this whole field to not be replanted. So, whenever this is whenever this is harvested, this is going to be it. And as soon as they are done, this is going to be it for this farm and it's going to be we're going to enable another farm over here. Might do that now already anyways. There we go. We have that final farm. Maybe this farm instead of that one then they can reach everything and yeah we of course need to pay attention because we don't need those there we go because that is where our connection is going to be so this one needs to back up by one let's immediately fix that over here And we can now do that over here as well. Back this up. By one. And 
look at this. They have removed most of it, except for the one that they can't reach. So let's do that. And then we can start building platforms there as well for our storage. The thing is, this is going to be a district gate. This thing over here is going to be a district gate. Then this one is for that district. This one is for that district. And uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll probably do that at a couple of other spots and add more water pumps to it. Probably have water pumps on this side as well. Um, we're unlocking dynamite so that we know that we want to blow all of this away at some point. Uh, they probably can't reach, huh? Well, we'll figure it out. When we get there, we don't have dynamite right now anyways. Okay, so this guy is like, eh, nothing to do in range. What do you mean? There's potatoes to harvest. You have potatoes. Why are you not, why are you not getting those potatoes? Silly, 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 silly. Okay, we have a lot of uh, we have a lot of food right now, so we're we're doing okay on the food level. So they have finished most of these platforms over there. Now we're just waiting. These ones are just waiting for gears. Um, they're working on on all of these now, and uh, I guess we could uh, place a couple of those over there and there. This one is not connected to the path. That is correct because we're waiting for this to be built. Okay. Those guys can start chopping down trees over on this little island. Or whatever we want to call it. Okay. So. How far can we actually get here before our connection is lost? Yeah. Um, we can still reach pretty far. So that is good. And as soon as the district center is moved in the position over here, I think they can reach even a little bit farther. Or at least one of the sides. For this one, it's going to be this side because the exit is going to be facing to the, in this position, to the east. If, if this is north and this is east. Okay, we're we're doing our best with building everything over there and over here. Um, we're gonna delete this for the moment, and um, what we can do is now place platforms like so, and then even all the way to here. That is how far it goes. Yep. Okay. And then we can say these ones can go in there. All right. Well, that is going to be the platforms that we built. Where we know we're going to have a path going uh, this way. And then this way. And over here, we have a similar thing. With a path going this way and this way. Then we'll have a path going that way. And a path going that way. And we'll have one going directly this way. So. We have paths put, put down. We have platforms. We know we can mirror this over here. And we also know that we don't need the path going up this way. Well, we actually do need it. Because we need a temporary staircase up here to remove that tree. So let's get that going. Get that done first, guys. Get it done first. Make sure everything is marked for removal. This guy should be able to chop down this tree. And here we have another incoming drought. So.
So these guys are done, right? Nope, they still have they still can chop down more trees. We just have too many trees. Um, we forgot to add tree storage or uh, log storage somewhere. And that is something we kind of do want. Could we put that in the corner here? We could. I mean, it's not, not that difficult. Do we want to? That's the question. I think we do. So, we're gonna go this way. I'm just gonna extend it out a little bit. And probably like this then. We might as well just connect it all up. Is that three or... And then we're going to remove all these trees over here. At some point, I don't know if we can even reach some of those. But we're going to mark them to be removed. And then we have more over here for... I don't want this. I think maybe... Maybe just like this. And then eventually we'll place the log pile over here. We'll remove this. Yeah, that is going to be that. All right. Well, we did we did well. Um, this is uh, this is what the down area is going to look like. Um, of course, there's going to be housing here and housing here. Um, and we'll have the storage facilities here. And, of course, that means here as well. But um, at least this gives us an idea of how uh, the fields are going to look like. And, uh, yeah, we, uh, we have a lot of, uh, of stuff to, uh, to harvest. We have a distinction of uh, different foods that we have over here. And uh, that will be great. And... Once we move the houses out of the way here, this one is done. We can remove that one. Once we uh, get all this out of the way, we can uh, we can actually make it all great looking. Um, now, let's see if we can figure out where this path actually is. So this is the dams that is here. That's this one, right? That's the that levy. Um, this levy. So then we have the path. The actual path is going to be this one. This path is going to go this way. And we know that we're going to have a path going uh, this way as well. And... This path is going to connect all the way up to this one. And then we'll have four. One, two, three, four. And this is going to be the actual path that is connected. All right. Well, it is a little something something. So we know now that this is going to be where we're planting our trees. And this is where we're going to have some dandelions and some pines. And um, we already have a tapper shack, which has plenty of pine raisin and stuff like that. We can pause this for the moment. We don't need it right now. Um, so, yeah, this is where the path is going to be. And this is where our we need to move the district center to here. <clears throat> the inventor huts, we're probably going to place those on top of the housing maybe connected to here somehow but before we get there that is going to be in the next episode or maybe even in two more episodes but we did well we have uh we have a nice little setup over here i'm really happy how that turns out this is going to be the blueprint for the other three corners of this map anyway um this is it for now thank you all for stopping by 
it's been lovely if you enjoyed this video please make sure you hit that like button if you are not yet subscribed please consider doing so you'll be informed of my new videos i post um timberborn six days a week most of the time uh we have two playthroughs going on youtube exclusives this one found mountain and the tenderlar tribe and then we have the twitch vods that are posted as well from our mega build anyway thank you all for some by i also stream on twitch as i just mentioned and we have a discord server the links are in the description i'll see you all next time bye bye for now